Hello guys, welcome to this session on UiPath tutorial. Today in this session we are going to learn about the input dialog box in robotic process automation in UiPath. Okay. And uh, what is uh, input dialog box? Uh, basically input dialog box is uh, used to get input from the user and message box is used for the output. Okay. So this is my UiPath studio community version. So first of all I want to add here flow chart. I will drive here flow C and I will drag it here in this main. Okay. So I will type here input dialog. I will again write it here inside of this main page. Right click over here I set a start node and now, now it is connected with my start node and double click over here you can see that you can you have to write a text value over here that is a title and this is my label either you can just uh, write the title here or in this particular dialog in this particular text box or either you can go to the properties or you can also write it here in a label and title menu okay so i'm going to write here input dialog this is my ti title input dialog box a label would be please input any text or number so once I will click over here you can see the all these properties over here and uh, I will run this I will type anything over here I will press ok it means my input dialog box is running working now I have to whatever text or numbers we are just entering inside of the input dialog box we are giving the input inside of the dialog box so I just want to store it somewhere okay inside of the variable so I will go to the output in this properties panel you can see that this result section so in result the value inserted by the user in the input dialogs okay so I have to create a, an, a variable where I can store the value of this input dialog box. So how to how can I just add a variable inside of uh, inside of this activity? I will go to the result ac result section and I will click over here right click I will click uh, right click over here, or either I can press Control K. So right click then create variable. So just name it anything. I input dialog this is my variable I have just created for this for the for the result of this input dialog box I will click here inside of this activity then I can just see this variable inside the variable panel I will click over here then you can see that the name of this particular variable is reflecting over here this is the variable type that is a generic value and the scope of this uh, is a flow chart and here I uh, if I do not want to enter anything or the default value I can just stored here inside of this default value but I'm not going to en enter anything and once I will just st uh, store it inside of this particular variable so I just want to display it for that I want to add here another activity that is a message box so I will drag it inside of this flow flow chart and I, I will connect it with the input dialog box once I will connect it with the input dialog box then you can see this blue symbol it means that it has an error because we have not entered any value inside of this message box so you can just change the title of this message box you can write here input value anything whatever the title you want to give of this message box input your value so whatever the uh, properties field you are seeing over here so if you want to use it you can also use it because it is very helpful and uh, then I want to use that variable which I have created for the input dialog box I will press simply input and if you are just forget about your variables so what variables you have just created for this particular activity just simply click here and go to the variable panel then you can see it here okay so I will just press I once I will press I then you can see this this variable is reflecting over here I will press tab and click anywhere in this particular flow then I will click into the flow chart now my activity is completed I will run it 
once I will run it then the input dialog box is open I will write here some text uh, hello world hello world this is input dialog box I will press OK so you can see that input uh, this message box is reflecting that value which we have stored in this variable so in this way what uh, what you can uh, what you can do you can just uh, input anything and you can just display it inside of the message box and there are so many activities you can this particular uh, variable according to your need anywhere in this flow okay so this is very simple and you can use this activity it is very useful if you are just creating a workflow where is a manual intervention is required where you have to input the value okay so i hope you like this video and thank you for watching have a nice day